All right, so let's talk about the three phases of a sales funnel. Now, this is going to be like a 50,000 foot view of what a sales funnel looks like. This is something where we have three particular areas that we really look to uh, have as far as our key points and elements within our sales funnel. We wanna make sure that we have these three areas so that we know where everybody's at at each particular stage. And these three phases are very simply top of funnel, middle of funnel, and bottom of funnel. So the top of funnel, as you can see here, is typically where we're providing valuable information, a cheat sheet, educational content, maybe like a blog post that you're sending people to. You're uh, making them aware of a pain, a problem that they have that is you know, kind of unconsciously there but hasn't been brought up to you know, the conscious level. And you also may be presenting them with an opportunity that may be available to them. And if they don't take advantage of that opportunity, they may uh, lose out on that particular opportunity. Now, the next phase is the middle of funnel. And this is where you're uh, presenting a problem, a pain, and you're presenting a solution. So you're letting people know that, hey, if you're struggling with X, Y, and Z, here's a solution that can help you uh, alleviate, accomplish, uh, you know, tear down or whatever that may be. And with each particular valuable information you're providing, you are always have an offer at the very end that lets them know, hey, if you want to learn more, if you want to learn how you can, you know, take, you know, X, Y, Z to the next level, here's how you can accomplish this faster. Here's how you can learn more, right? So you're always having an offer at the very end of each valuable piece of information, but you're never leading with the offer. You're never leading with trying to make a sale. It's just, here's this value for you. And if you want to learn more, then here's the next steps. And then at the bottom of the funnel, this is where you have social proof, you have reviews, you have testimonials. Let's say you're running like Facebook ads, right? This is where you're going to, you know, have a retargeting audience that you have already shown to maybe a blog post, maybe they've downloaded uh, an ebook, right? A lead magnet. So they're familiar with you already. They've seen your brand multiple times. And now it's just a matter of, hey, here's this pricing. Um, you know, people are at that buyer stage for the most part, right? Here's some testimonials and they're, you know, essentially ready to go. So with any particular sales funnel that you're developing, you're building, you're putting together, I want you to always look at it from these three top phases because this is what's gonna help you give you the overall framework of a particular sales funnel, knowing that you have specific sets of data and criteria at the top of the funnel, middle of funnel, and bottom of funnel, okay? So that's it for this section here, and we'll see you on the next one, thanks.